Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the slave robes and slave boots back after you have completed the tourist trap quest. Uh, you can only get these items during the quest and post quest. So if you're trying to get these, these robes um, for the first time, make sure you have completed the tourist trap quest or are starting the quest. Now, the method to get them back after the quest is different than the method you use to get them during the quest. Uh, so this video is going to be showing how to get them back. But I will try my best to explain how to get them as if you're using this video uh, for the quest itself. So the only items you need to get the uh, rose back is this metal key. And if you don't have the metal key, I'll show you how to get it. The only item you need is the metal key. If you're doing the quest itself, you're going to need to get that metal key as well. And you're going to need to bring some desert robes. But you don't need the desert robes if you're coming back for additional uh, sets of robes. Uh, and make sure to bring a water skin or two, um, because in this area outside the gate compound, you're going to be hurt by the desert heat. And if you're low combat, because we need to kill level 47 and a level 10, uh, make sure to bring some food. Okay, so we're going to start off by getting the metal key. So make your way to my location on the map. I'm in the Curdian Desert, and I'm just outside the desert mining camp. Here we need to uh, kill the mercenary captain to get the key. Now, if you're doing the quest right now, do not attack the captain. Instead, if you're doing the quest, talk to the captain, upset him enough where he attacks you. So there's some dialogue you need to select and uh, have the captain attack you. Once the captain attacks you, you uh, auto retaliate back and kill him and he's gonna drop the metal key. But if you've already completed the quest and I, you can only get one key at a time, uh, at least I tried. I know I have one in my, my key ring, but I didn't get a second one. So if you have the metal key on you, make sure you drop it, and then go ahead and attack the uh, mercenary captain. And if I watch the captain, I can see that there's a metal key attached to his belt. So I'm going to go ahead and attack the metal captain because I have completed the tourist trap quest, so he will be dropping this key for me. And once you kill the captain, uh, regardless of uh, if you're doing the quest or post-quest, he'll always drop this key for you. So see, I got the key it ran into my inventory. Um, next, we need to enter the compound. Before you enter the compound, if you're doing the quest, uh, you need to bring some items with you. You need the desert robes for the quest. Bring those. You don't need that if you're post-quest. Also, if you're in the quest, unequipped everything except for these items. So if you're doing the quest itself, make sure that's your only gear you have on. Otherwise, you're going to get thrown in jail. So if you're doing the quest, only have the robes on. And no weapons. If you're post quest, don't worry about it. You can enter the gate, and uh, these guards are gonna get mad at you. But you're post quest, so who cares? Um, if you're doing the quest, I know I'm going back and forth a lot. Uh, the method to get the slave robes, you're actually gonna need to talk with one of these slaves right here, and they're just gonna talk about, uh, I believe, a revolt, and then you're gonna offer to trade your robes for his slave robes, and that is how you get the slave robes in the quest. But we're going for post quest, so continue over here and open the mine door entrance and this is going to bring us into the mines and now we need to run all the way to the south so i'm clicking uh we gotta kind of run around this corridor and uh the south area i just clicked on the map so keep running until we see a rowdy slave and we're going to kill that rowdy slave and i believe he's level 10 his max hit is a two so don't worry about him again if you're low combat. Uh, at yeah, level 10, you should be fine. Uh, but over here, there's this rowdy slave. Go ahead and attack the rowdy slave. 16 HP. Kill him, and he's going to drop the slave outfit. Of course, I already have the slave outfit, so he's not going to drop it. But if I hop worlds, and let's go to 302, and I kill him again, he will drop that slave outfit. Now, obviously, if you want to have additional sets of slave outfit, uh, just kill him, have him drop the items, and then uh, drop the items yourself, and then kill him again, and rinse and repeat until you have as many of the slave outfits as you'd like. Obviously, if I were to go back to my previous world, 386, uh, those three items that I dropped on the ground are going to be there. Um, now I can just pick them up. And you don't have to hop worlds. You can literally just stay here and wait for them to respawn, right? So I don't top worlds I could uh, kill him again but the thing is with the slave outfit and for the metal key if they're in your inventory at the time you're not gonna get them if they're in your bank you will get extras 
So you can come back here as much as you want. You can keep banking as much as you'd like. Um, and, and collect as many rubs as you want. There's no, there's no limit. They just cannot be in your inventory at the time um, of you killing this, the Rowdy Slave. And I think he glitched. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I try to make videos like this all the time, so if you have any other ideas for video content, just let me know. And I hope to see you all in my next video.